Hi, it's Nadia. Today's video is about three things from the very bottom of my heart. One, appreciation and say hi to all of you. It's been a while. Two, for the past few months, what I've been doing and what I've learned. And three, my channel update. Let's get started. For the past few months, I have been off the grid from social media and YouTube video makings due to certain changes in my life, say my health, my diet, my goals, and even where I live. This is a process of understanding, adjusting, rediscovering, redefining, and redesigning purposes and priorities in my life. It all starts that last summer, I found myself feeling tired very easily, especially whenever after a meal. This unknown fatigue was very vicious. However, at night, I slept quite well in general. During the day, I did not do heavy activity that requires a lot of energy. With this confusion, self-observations of my routines and lifestyle, following a health check and its medical consultation, also many online studies. I gradually knew it's probably my diet. I eat too much carbohydrate. It's a new finding to me. To be honest, I do not have swift tooth. So I didn't think that I consume too much sugar, unaware that processed food has a lot. I'm not fond of meat or fat either. I even avoid cuisines that is too meaty or too oily. However, I was a big fan of rice and wheat. There are so many delicious cuisines from different country and cultural varieties. Say, I love noodles, pasta, ramen, udon, bread. I love fried rice, steamed rice, rice noodles, rice cake, rice pastries, and etc. This love even triggers me to make my own. Cooking and baking becomes a great hobby for the past few years. I study and try recipes of world cuisines made by rice and wheat. I had a lot of fun. With more homemade cooking, I reduce occasions of eating out or social dinings. I reduce my consumptions of takeaway or supermarket ready meals. In my own cooking, I also reduce the adding portion of meat, fat, oil, sugar in any recipe. I thought it's relatively clean and healthy. However, my BMI was way too high. In appearance, I did not look that large, but I'm actually visceral fatty. There must be something I didn't know, so I did my own research, trying to understand linkages within sugar, carbohydrate, processed food metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and etc. Interestingly, the more I know, the more I don't know, the more I want to know. It's like a tongue twister, and it's how I truly feel. It becomes a topic that I would love to know more. I tried low-carb diet, completely changed my food palate. In a way, I learned to eat meat and healthy fat. For cooking and baking, I entered an alien world, which is very new and fascinating. Surprisingly, from just cutting carbohydrate to eating more whole food, real food, I feel much better. My fatigue is gone. I have more energy and brain clarity to do things, say, more focus, easily concentrate on. My BMI, cholesterol, triglyceride, and other indicators are doing very well. Also, an unexpected bonus that I lost weight. I lost more than 12 kilos, about 26 pounds, in six months. What I learned, and the takeaway possibly for you, is not a medical or dietary advice. It's just a simple thing. Listen to our body. It tells us hints. Rather than some silent syndromes, we would never know. These hints body tells us are actually blessings. Responding to that will make us healthier and even prevent a possible disease. 
I'm very thankful for my previous fatigue and following actions I took. Due to this change, I even do some meal prep to accommodate my new changing diet. More conscious about what I eat, especially its nutrition portions. I even save some grocery budget. It's another unexpected bonus. This experience of changing diet, changing ways of cooking, feeling better and healthier, it inspires me to review and reset my goals and priorities. I want to explore more in healthy cooking. I want a nicer kitchen. I also want to be closer to my family, having family dinners more frequent. So I moved to a new place where the kitchen is more spacious Daylight in the kitchen is spectacular, and most wonderfully, my family is just 10 minutes driving away. For this channel, I'm humbled, grateful, and unexpectedly very surprised at some hearty and warm comments, questions, encouragement from you for the past few months when I was off the grid. Actually, most of my videos can be seen as notes of what I study, what I want to keep, and what I take for reference to do it again and better it. I'm very, very, very overwhelmingly grateful and happy that my notes can be helpful and as a reference to other people, to you, no matter where are you, how and when you found my videos. In the future, I'm going to continue particularly but not limited to topics below. 1. Home organization. How I arrange and manage the place I live since I have moved to a new place. I have a new canvas to start. For instance, I made a kitchen island to accommodate my current cooking needs or my very simple bathroom. 2. Recipes which make me healthier. Some of them are low-carb recipes how I adapt them to my old-time food preference, and experience to overcome obstacles in my diet transformation process. And three is canning. From a meal prep point of view, this is the most unexpected finding. I discover a whole new topic about canning, pickling, jarring, in a fast-paced and processed food consuming society. I'm very drawn into this lost art of home food preservation. I did spend a lot of time on above three topics, having more experiences with more confidence to share. Let me know if you had suggestions or simply saying hi. I hope you enjoyed this video and always, always, always remember that life is beautiful. You are cherished and blessed, especially by me. Thank you for your watching and considering to subscribe. I will see you next time. Take care.